The Zenith ZF5 is the MP5 for people who don't want to pay MP5 money for an actual HK MP5. Hearing me say that, you're probably thinking, okay, so it's a poor man's MP5. Learn to be grateful. If God don't bless you in a Chrysler 300, be happy you got a Chrysler 300. I can see someone buying the ZF5 and saying they bought the ZF5 because it looks just like an MP5. Stop walking around talking shit, talking about I got it because it looked just like a Phantom. No. It looked like a Chrysler 300. Truth be told, it looks very similar, if not identical, to an MP5. But calling something the poor man's version of something else implies that, though similar, when you actually compare the two side by side, you immediately realize they are not the same. The part is it do look like a Phantom until a Phantom pull up. If the Xena ZF5 is supposed to be the poor man's MP5, it's doing a horrible job because the looks, feel, function, and quality of this gun are incredible. Don't get me wrong, this is an MP5 clone, an American-made MP5 clone at that. Everything except for the magazines are made in America, which is saying a lot if you understand how other MP5 clones are made. Most MP5s and MP5 clones have a rather stale or ashy black finish that I think ages the look of the gun. Now granted, the MP5 platform is no spring chicken. The finish on the ZF5 has a deep gloss black finish that gives the gun a more youthful and fresh appearance. I know some people like the ashy look, I just prefer my guns to look moist. As soon as I got the ZF5, I immediately ripped off the standard handguard that it came with and added this obnoxiously expensive Surefire handguard for no other reason than I like the way it looks. And the integrated flashlight and switches are childishly cool to me. From there, I added the adjustable SB Tactical HKPDW brace. Then I mounted a Leupold Delta Point Pro to the rail that came with the gun, along with the two-point sling that also came with the gun. And boom, I had one of my favorite MP5 configurations. Before you finish watching this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Zydax. Zydax builds awesome gaming PCs, and they specialize in customization from custom LEDs, laser etching, and paint. Zydax has a lifetime warranty on parts and labor, and all of Zydax systems are hand-built in Salt Lake City, Utah, with US-only tech support. So, if you're on the market for your next gaming PC, hit the Zydax link in the description section. That's just it. Within 10 minutes, I forgot that this wasn't actually an MP5. It's a clone, but my goodness, it's a damn good one. At a certain point, I just stopped comparing it to the real MP5 and just enjoyed it for what it was, one of the most enjoyable pistol caliber carbines you can buy. Everything about this gun is the same as the original, if not, maybe, arguably, a little better. Like the extended selector switch, which if you don't have hobbit sized hands, doesn't really matter to you. I also like the magazines better too. It came with three magazines that also had that moist, deep black finish to them that I clearly love, or I just like saying moist because I know someone is getting triggered by it. But where the ZF5 shines is how it shoots. The original MP5, whether it be semi-auto or full auto, is hands down one of the top five most enjoyable guns to shoot. There's a magic to the way the MP5 shoots that other pistol caliber carbines just don't have. That roller delayed blowback system just makes it hard to stop shooting. And even though all of the parts of the ZF5 were made in America without using any of the HK machines, the ZF5 has that same magic. I wanted to shoot this gun all day. It was 108 degrees outside with gas-like humidity, and I didn't notice it because I was always looking forward to the next magazine. Even the trigger still had that unique spongy break that all MP5s have that should be a knock against the gun, but in some strange way it just adds to the shooting experience. However, there is something about the ZF5 that just feels clean, or maybe the word I'm looking for is ever so slightly more refined. You notice it when you do things like charge the gun, and yes, even slap the charging handle, or loading and inserting the magazine. Even the welding marks on the gun are extremely minimal. When you shoot and handle this gun, you can sense there is a bit of Zenith purposefully trying to make a clone that outshines the master. Whether or not it did depends on the person. At this point, the MP5 platform is an NFT gun. 
someone paid a ton of money for a board eight yacht club nft that i can screenshot and get for free in minutes some people value originality and are willing to pay a premium for that originality as someone who has both an hk mp5 and now a zenith zf5 i appreciate originality and sometimes i am willing to pay a premium for it i'm a self-proclaimed hk fanboy and i love the mp5 but at no point while I was shooting the ZF5 did I feel like something was missing. As a matter of fact, I kind of feel like the ZF5 has revived some of the magic that is the MP5 by making it more accessible to more people. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.